Milking a cow may be an everyday experience for some Iowans, but as Paul Yeager finds out, for some fairgoers, it's actually a once in a lifetime adventure. Just because it's the fair, it doesn't mean that chores don't have to be done. You still gotta milk the cow for heaven's sakes. I'm here with Taylor Wilhelm of the Iowa, from Iowa State, and she's with the I Milk to Cow working exhibit. And today, Taylor, we are going to milk a cow. So tell me, uh, how long have you been doing this? This is my second year here. Um, the I Milk to Cow exhibit has actually been here for 10 years. So is it just like it sounds, I Milk to Cow? Is that what we're going to do today? That's exactly what you're going to do today. What's the average age of people that come through here? We have all sorts of ages. I've had kids young as two years old, and last year we had a lady who was 94. We had 94, so I'm right here in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I help your average as best I can. So milking a cow is something that's got to be done twice a day. Is this also a good chance to do some education with people? Absolutely. A lot of people don't realize where their milk comes from. They think it comes from a grocery store. But this is actually getting them out there and realizing where it's actually coming from. Did you know where milk comes from? Yes. Oh, you did know that. It comes from the store, right? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Where does it come from? A cow. Oh, so is that why you had to milk the cow? Do you think your milk will be in the store now? Maybe. What was that like to milk the cow? Um, it was like, it was a little difficult and I felt like I was going to hurt the cow. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this teat right here, you're going to place it right in here, squeeze at the top, and then with the rest of your fingers. Okay, so this is cottage. So do, now, these are very calm animals. Oh yes, a lot, absolutely. Are, all dairy, a lot of dairy cows are usually this calm. Yes, most of them are. These cows are specifically trained for the I Milk to Cow exhibit. They all come from the same farm and they love being here. She was, Cottage was here last year with us too, so okay. she's a pro. Cottage is a pro, <laughs> I am milking a cow, am not. So here we go, I grew up on a beef farm, I do not know anything about this dairy, so Taylor, tell me. So I'm putting it in, yep. locking it in, Pinch, pinch squeeze. and squeeze down. Now, now all of a sudden she's gone dry. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Is there something special about the back? They're smaller. Okay, they're smaller. <laughs> so we're going to step up to the advanced level milking course. Going to go into the back. How am I doing? You're doing amazing. Well. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll just see. Let's try this again. Cottage, you and I are friends. <laughs> Woo! Uh-oh, I missed that one. Pinch, squeeze, okay? How do you think Stella did in her milking? Awesome. I think she was stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to do something like this? Well, it's, you know, we're not, we don't live anywhere near a farm or livestock, so it's fun for my kids to be able to experience doing something like that. They're, they love animals, but they don't get to be around animals in this way, so it's just a neat hands-on learning, really. What's the best part of seeing a kid come through or somebody who has never experienced this before? Their excitement. Most The kids are kind of like, oh, this is cool, but the, when the adults come up and they've never milked a cow, they come up and it, the first squeeze, they're like, oh my gosh, and they're always so excited. What was that like? It was so fun, but on my first try, I got milk on my hand. <laughs> it's really warm at first. It's not refrigerated. How was that milking a cow? It was awesome, and it actually the milk actually came out, so it was really cool. 